So here we are at the Simmons OneView interface. If you're not sure how to get here, please see the previous video on getting started with Simmons OneView. So what we're going to do is set up our cross-tabulation that gives us data on the consumers of Gatorade. So the first thing, we're going to look at uh, sort of the middle of this box. We're going to look at, on the left, our questions box. In the middle, our answers box. And then on the right, our rows and columns boxes where we're going to set up our query. So we're going to start out by looking for Gatorade. We do that by scrolling through our options here until we come to a category that looks right. And that's going to be beverages, non-alcoholic drinks here. So I click the triangle to expand it. And then I look for an option that again looks appropriate. And as I scroll through my options, I see thirst quencher and sport activity drinks. That's probably where I'm going to find Gatorade. So again, I expand my options. And then I get a list of questions identified by the question mark. Um, and what, we're at, what our options are here, uh, we see thirst quencher, activity drinks use. Uh, that's a question that asks people, do you use activity or sports quen or thirst quencher drinks, yes or no? Uh, the next option says, which brands do you use? And it's MO, mostly. So that's going to be asking respondents which brands they prefer. Uh, if, as we move on, we have some, some other options, including brands that you also use. So maybe a consumer's second choice or something like that. We're going to stick with this brands used mostly. I click on it and it populates my answer window with the, the brands that I can look at. I see Gatorade is there, so I'm going to click on it. And if I want to compare the consumers of Gatorade to consumers of other products, I could also click on those. So for our example, we'll just uh, control click to also select Powerade. So I've got those two selected, and I'm just going to drag them over to my column box. So that's identifying the columns on the table that I'm creating. Now I want to go back and look at some of the demographic characteristics of consumers. So if I scroll back to the top in my questions window, I'm going to go here to lifestyle demographics. And again, I'm going to expand that option, and I start to see some of the things that I can look for. Again, I'm going to expand demographics personal information, and I see the kinds of questions that I might want to ask. Maybe I want to find out about education level, income, gender, race, etc. For our example, we'll look at gender. I click on that, and I see male and female are my two options. So I'm going to select both of those with my control click and drag them into the rows box. So now I've defined my columns and my rows, and I'm ready to run my cross tabulation. And I do that by clicking on the cross tab button. And what we have is a chart with some of the data about the, the characteristics of consumers of Gatorade and Powerade. The next video will show you how to interpret this data. If I wanted to go back and edit my table, look at some different things, I can go up here to the cross tab editor, which takes me back to the screen where I can make changes to my demographics perhaps, or to my products or something like that. The next video will show you how to interpret the data.